I'm Aaron Nagler. I'm here with Mr. Don Banks for SI.com. We're looking at the Minnesota Vikings. The 2016 NFL Draft is coming up, Don. They've got, you know, not a ton of needs here, uh, especially on offense. You look at this team, head coach Mike Zimmer telling reportedly both Adrian Peterson and Teddy Bridgewater, you guys have no excuses now uh, after they signed a couple of studs in free agency along the offensive line. Does this make it a kind of defensively themed draft, do we think? Not necessarily. I, I think the offensive line is now good and deep in Minnesota. They got Alex Boone on board in free agency, Andre Smith. But Smith's on a one-year deal. They've got a bunch of guys coming up after this year. Wouldn't shock me if they went offensive line, but more so receiver position. Most people that watch this draft think that the Vikings are going to get one either in the first or second round. I've got him with Will Fuller, the Notre Dame right. uh, receiver. He may not be the best fit. They want somebody to go up and get the contested ball and make Teddy Bridgewater's game a little more vertical. Well, you look at you know the fact that they're sitting there at 23. I think they could possibly be open for business, so to speak, looking at teams maybe in the late first round, early second round, who are quarterback needy. Is that something that they do? They call teams and say, hey, we're open for business? It's possible. It's really not Rick Spielman's style as a GM in Minnesota. But let's say Cleveland doesn't get their quarterback at two. They decide to go in a different direction. Maybe they go right. Jalen Ramsey. Exactly. Could they listen to a Cleveland coming back into the first round or even a San Francisco or maybe a Philadelphia? I think they would listen hard because you're right. They are in a good spot. At 23, they feel like they're going to get a player some, somewhere in the range of the top 20. And if they go down and pick up more picks, all the better because this is now a team that has not arrived completely, but this is a team that has won a division and has a certain amount of momentum already and a deep roster. They used a fifth round pick a couple years ago on a punter who has statistically been the worst in the league. Is that something they might do again, trying to maybe roll the dice and you know hit snake eyes this time rather than bomb out like they did with a fifth round pick last time around? Yeah, it's definitely a third day type of situation, but you're right, you know, Jeff Locke has not performed up to the level that where they drafted him. But I could see them because they have some picks in the sixth and seventh round to play with. I could see them taking a punter if they have a conviction. And there's a Texas A&M punter named Drew Kayser that I think the Vikings are liking. Big leg. They compare him to Shane Leckler, 6'3", 210. I could see Minnesota saying we need somebody to really help us win the battle of field position with a defense that we really think is on the cusp of being top 10. Is this a team that can truly kind of sit back and actually do best player available? They're probably one of a handful, maybe six teams in this league that's well positioned enough in this draft that they could do that. I don't think there's anything glaring outside of the need for maybe another number two type receiver. Stephon Diggs needs somebody to draw some coverage away. But yeah, to sit there and say we can take the best available players. And the fact that Mike Zimmer has that roster in year three in that position is a credit to him and Spielman. Absolutely. So there you go. Don Banks breaking it down for the Minnesota Vikings, the 2016 NFL Draft. For Don, I'm Aaron for SI.com.